obviously playing the aces here on table. Okay, on table four. So we'll see his uh, three bet size here. Should be like nine or ten if he was making it the same as last time. And be playing the hand on table one to eat ISO. Okay, so it's nine, so he's making it consistent, which is good. Yeah, going for like full pot there is probably optimal on table one. Seems like it only has a couple, he doesn't know, um, he doesn't have many reads on these players, and only has a couple hands on a lot of them. Okay, a lot of stuff going on. Steal on table three is fine. Looks like he's going smaller from the button than he is from earlier positions, which is good. Something I do a lot, and you know, you're just stealing more often and gives yourself a better price for calling three bets and stuff like that, um, and, and the price for the, uh, the steal too. Um, table four, it is double suited. Um, can't quite tell with the hub. I think I saw that before the hub popped up over there. Um, should be making that 240 again there. And on table four, uh, readless, which he is, there's only one hand on this guy, I think, unless he knows him, unless he has a different database or something like that, I'm not sure. But, um, should be a C bet and then take it from there. Do, do note that we don't have the uh, Ace of Hearts blocker, so it might make us want to continue more often. If the other player can, if he check calls, you know, we can barrel more. Obviously, if he raises, we can, we can consider that he has a lot of like no flush draw stuff in his range. Um, table one, going to be C betting all day. Flop uh, middle pair in the wrap versus two players who likely don't have super strong ranges. I get three bet on table three. So there's a lot of stuff going on at once. I'll try to cover everything. I like the sizing on table one. Um, this spot's a little bit different than on table four in the like one of the first hands where we had like the same kind of um, holding, but we see bet on like ace eight deuce, or we see bet like half pot or like a little bit less than half pot. Um, here the board's a little bit wetter, and you will be see betting a little bit larger with. Um, with your good hands and it's not a three bet pot, so you're not, I mean, you can be three betting a little bit wider, or you can have like more hands that can stay in heat and stuff like that, so plus you want to build a pot now, so. Um, table three gets three bet, I'm pretty much calling this all day. Suited ace and lots of good connected cards in position. Uh, read this, so just have to take that into consideration for a slop, and yeah. Like the size on table four here. Can go a little bit bigger, maybe like seven or eight, but a snippicky small is good. For the same reasons in um, the first hand. Um, okay, so you guys check raise. That's really interesting. Um, read this. I'd probably be okay with just folding here. Um, if you do call and the turn is like a non-heart or like a not a four or five or six like the hands that he would be check raising for as a bluff or value um or like a semi bluff would be hitting those cards his sizing is kind of scary um the 3x sizing but at the same time it could be a semi bluff a lot so up to him table one looks like uh the limper from under the gun called and then potted here i think just calling here is fine um and let him just barrel off on all rivers too. Um, could get it. He, he could be just like bet calling here with like five six and ten six and um, checking the river. So it looks like he's not folding either way. I actually think you can just get it in here, but um, you can call and then you have fold equity on aces and eights. I think. I think it's mostly as a straight. It just depends on what straight it is and. From players like this, it could easily be like he could have easily called a hand on the flop like nine seven six five or ten nine ten nine six five or something like that. Um, yeah, I don't think he's like doing this with a set, but you never know. Either calling or shifting is fine. I kind of wavered on what I originally thought, but that's fine anyway. Um, table three, we get checked to by the. Um, by the, the uh, preflop three better, and this hand, it, it's really nice to have reads here. Some players are check folding like aces and kings here, 
But if they didn't have aces and kings, they just smack this board so hard, and they're going for the check raise usually. Um, I'm not sure how Donut plays. It's, the screen name seems familiar, but I don't think I, I don't remember too much about him. Yeah, I'm pretty okay with just uh, giving up here.